21st, we got a Dan e. Gillian's TAL event. We know you got a very big match that day. We know you're going to be pulling uh, Ryan Espy left hand. So uh, I know we uh, touched on this a little earlier, but um, just wanted to get uh, your thoughts on, on this. And uh, what are you expecting from Ryan that day? Man, like I said, I don't, I don't know enough about where Ryan's level is. Like the Michael match will, will do a lot for me. You know, it'll tell me, if Ron, you know, isn't on some crazy level or if he is and, you know, where he's, where he's strongest, if, if, you know, he can pull Michael out of some of the positions he's going to try to put him in. Um, like I said, my left at the moment, I've got a ton of faith in. Uh, until somebody pins it, I, I just don't. I'm just ready to see what's up. That is going to be a, a war, man. Can't wait for that one. And uh, another great match that uh, I just saw that they just set for uh, there is a right-hand match. It's going to be uh, Brandon El Sassor, which uh, is a good friend of mine. Uh, he's going to be pulling uh, Dimitri Kachin from uh, Texas, who's also a very good friend of mine. He'll actually uh, be out by my house this weekend. We're going to get a little practice in. He's coming to hang out with the North Cal guys and all. But uh, this one, I, I'm I'm so excited about this. As we all know, uh, Brandon's been on a tear around the United States. He's uh, been beating a lot of huge names and all, uh, named flying around everywhere. And we also know that uh, Dimitri just went against uh, the GOAT, John Berzink, and uh, he gave him a war, man. This was not an easy match for uh, John. Uh, Dimitri showed that he's a world champion and all. And uh, what do you expect that day, man? Man, I think it's going to go one or two ways. I think Brandon, if he can reach a level of strength to where he can either finish Dimitri relatively quickly or put him in a position to where he can really put him in a bind and bleed him out. But Dimitri's a lot like that kid that just beat Brandon. Um, what's his name? Oh, my God. Uh, Roger uh... Uh, K- Kingpin from uh, Michigan. Kitch. Yeah, yeah. Dude is so a Dimitri, monster, absolute he, animal. He one thousand percent is, and Dimitri kind of has that same sticky, you know, bleed or you know, try to cut you and you know, let you die type mentality. He's he's gonna be in it. Like if if Brandon doesn't finish him pretty quick. I think Dimitri will just continue to forward his position and gain better position. And, you know, it, it may only take one or two rounds of that. Brandon may not be that hard to beat it anymore. Yeah, we got to see uh, Dimitri is actually, um, I seen Dimitri about like a year and a half back. I think that was the first time I actually met you. And uh, Dimitri pulled uh, Robbie Burnett and, um, Robbie was the number one guy in Texas that day. And um, I think actually Robbie was set up to pull you next or, or you guys were in talks about something. And then uh, Dimitri kind of threw a monkey wrench in there and uh, kind of just surprised everybody over there. And uh, he kind of won that day and did it in pretty uh, dominating uh, fashion. So uh, that was the first time he uh, got on my radar. And uh, I just remember Travis kept telling me about him uh, that weekend. And he's like, yo, don't ta- count that Dimitri guy out, man. That dude is world class. He's no joke. And uh, wow, what a performance he put on that day. Yeah, we yeah that that's right. Well, that is the day we met. Um, Dimitri did beat Robbie. I had a match in the works with Robbie at that point that went ahead and got set at TAL where I tore my bicep off. Uh, it was supposed to be me and Robbie instead of me and Wayne. And Robbie had something come up like two weeks out and couldn't make it. And Wayne stepped in. Okay. And uh, another big thing that went on that day was uh, you actually pulled uh, John Brzezink to GOAT. That was when you uh, first got yeah. it. I think it was your first time on the table. And, I mean, you guys went in a hook together. And uh, it was impressive from you, bro. Yeah, dude's a freak. He, had, he was untrained. And like, he was felt like a ton. Did you learn anything that day? He's strong, <laughs> real strong. <laughs> I can't imagine how strong he is now. 
<laughs> it's scary to think, right? <laughs> yeah. So uh, another uh, yeah. bombshell they got uh, set for this. Uh, yep, Danny, man. Uh, Danny Gillen, you did an amazing job at setting these matches. This is a, a stat card. So he's got uh, John Breda. He's going to be pulling uh, Brandon El Cesar left hand. These two are monsters left hand. We know uh, Brandon just got a big win against uh, Travis. Uh, wasn't a completely trained up Travis, but uh, still, that is a very impressive win, especially only weighing around 220. And uh, we know John Breda is the real deal left hand. So uh, what's your prediction on this one? Man, I think that's going to be a really close match. Um, it just depends on on which one of them. Can, I don't know. That's, that's tough. I, I think it can go either way. That's exactly I how I feel. I have not a clue where this one's going to go, man, but I cannot wait. We're just winning having this match go down. Yeah, um, I mean, they both like to grind it out. I don't, it's just probably going to depend on who's got the better endurance that day. I mean, I feel like their power levels could be similar. Is there a weight cap on that? I would, I, I don't know if they actually set one, but I, I'm going to think that they're going to be uh, 220, around 220 is the weight cap. I think both guys are around there. Yeah. Um, I know Jonathan, you know, can be very, very impressive whenever he's got it all together and injury free and uh you know i've seen him beat guys like pablo and you know all all kinds of names so you know if i had to put you know a little bit of money on it i'd probably bet on jonathan but it could really go either way yeah i also i remember being at uh one of our events in uh in texas and uh reda was in the overall against uh travis and uh he actually got the win that day left hand so uh that was a pretty impressive win. So he he's hit he, he's beat some pretty big names, Lefty. So uh, one other match we got going on um, that day is we got uh, Casey Swift, and he's going to be pulling the big man Brian Sitting from Texas, right hand. What is your your thoughts on this match? Um, uh, in recent pictures, he looks like he's pretty large right now, and Brian's always a lot better whenever he's big. Um, so. It just depends if Casey Swift is an inside puller and, you know, it comes down to horsepower, you know, Brian's, Brian's strong inside. You know, Brian has won some fairly good matches inside. And then, you know, he's lost to some guys you wouldn't expect to lose to him to lose to outside. So just depending on what that guy's style is, you know, I don't, I don't know enough about him, but hopefully I, I like Brian, we're buddies. I, you know, hope he pulls it out. Uh, yeah, May 21st. Everybody check it out. Uh, Danny Gillian has put a mega card together with the TAL. Um, it's got some great matches on there. And uh, definitely get over there and uh, watch that and show your support. Guys.